Hello YouTube friends. I'm going to do some baking. Every year I make my son John a birthday cake and I've made a playlist of all the birthday cakes at, on the end of this video. You'll see there's a playlist you can go and watch back all the cakes I've made him. And I'm a little bit late making this one. It was his birthday a couple of weeks ago but with one thing and another I'm making it now. He doesn't mind. He's a grown-up. He'll still be able to celebrate his birthday even though it's a little bit late. And I've been researching this one for ages. I've got loads of bowls here because uh, this is going to be quite a complicated. It's a simple cake uh, dessert really but um, I've got a very complicated list of ingredients and so on. I saw this recipe a little while ago when I was researching John's birthday cake and I really like the look of it. I'm going to leave you the link to the recipe in the description below and the website that it came from. It's from a, 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 a from girls called the Meringue Girls. So you know straight away, don't you, I'm going to be making a meringue, but not just any old meringue. It's actually really quite complicated. <laughs> so the first thing I have to do I've measured out the caster sugar. This is golden caster sugar in here and I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. Um, that's the first slight difference. That kind of puts me in mind of it maybe being Italian meringue where you add a syrup, a hot sugar syrup, to the um, fluffed up egg whites. We're going to put this in the oven now and it says uh, put the sugar in the oven, where does it say that, for seven minutes. So we'll have seven minutes here, which actually means that I've only got seven minutes to do the eggs, doesn't it? Oh dear, I'm nowhere near, I haven't even separated the eggs yet. All right, I'm going to see if I can follow this recipe and make a very spectacular meringue cake for John. And if I don't, then it'll be a very spectacular pudding all mixed together with cream. And that'll still taste delicious. We can put candles in it in places, but I'm going to try for it. I'm going to go for it. Now, six egg whites is what I need. So I'll get those now. Straight away, I'll just get my mixer. I really like baking on this uh, counter here because the sun shines through this window and gives me all this beautiful sparkly light. So let me explain about the eggs. I no longer have hens. When I got ill last year and ended up in hospital and then ended up being pretty disabled for a little while with vertigo, which is far worse than it sounds, um, I found it really, really hard to look after the hens in the way that they needed. And so I gave them to a friend of mine. And I was just hearing from him today, him and his family, how much his children really like the hens and how much they really enjoy the eggs. So now then, my neighbour who just lives down the track here, they keep hens. And these are her hen's eggs. So they're only from down the way there. And I may get hens again one day, but while I was pretty immobile and recovering, it just felt like too much to try and get down there and feed them and haul hen food and do all of that. So, I mean, my kids are great, but they don't live here. Six, I want. Now, that means I've got six egg yolks, doesn't it? And so I had this idea that I might make something with them as well. But for this recipe, I don't need them. One, two, three, four, five, six egg whites then. Be really careful not to get any yellow in there. One more. Oh, 
Okay. And so now I just need to whisk them up loudly in this big bowl. They can go on the compost heap. Thank you, hens. Okay, in we go. So now I'm going to make a lot of noise. The sugar's out of the oven now, and what I'm going to do now is put it, it says, put it a little tiny bit at a time into the egg whites, whisking all the time. So let's do that. Now all the sugar's in, the instruction is to whisk it now for five minutes or until a little bit of it between my thumb and finger doesn't feel like it's got any gritty bits of sugar in at all. So I'll turn the camera off and do that because that's going to be noisy. Oh, I've been whisking for ages. I think if you had a stand mixer, you'd get on much better than I am here. So I'll do that test now. I get a little bit and see. No, I can't feel any gritty sugar between my finger and thumb. So now we do the next part of the uh, instructions. And if, I think a stand mixer would be brilliant, but I make maybe three cakes a year. I don't really think that a stand mixer is going to be uh, great for that. Okay, now the recipe now says to divide this into four, most of it left in the bowl, and three little bowls with the, but I'm going to do two bowls and do a white one and a pink one. Yes, yeah. so I'm going to pipe this next onto the meringue itself. So some of this into this bowl. It says three, it says a pale pink, a deep pink and a mid pink. And I think two pinks is enough. Maybe, we'll see. So we'll put some of that in there. Oops, Daisy. Oh dear, dear, dear. What have I done? Oh dear. Made a bit of a mess there. Never mind. And so now in the main bowl, I'm to put some pink food colouring, which here it is. I've got this natural pink food colouring. Okay, this, this stuff can be really kind of um, pink, <laughs> so I'm going to just put a little bit in. Can you see? Just a tiny bit to start with. Well, that was quite a lot. Okay, we'll see how that goes. That's not too pink at all. I think we might actually risk a little bit more. Tiny, tiny bit more. We don't want it purple though, so we just put a tiny drop more pink food colouring in there. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a nice pale pink. In fact, it's barely pink at all. Yeah, it is pink, definitely pink. Okay, so I'm going to leave one of them white and I'm going to color this one quite deep pink. I'll have a think about that one. I might put a bit more pink in, but I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'll just even that up a bit. I'm gonna do this one quite dark. Let's see how oh, dark. This is all new to me, what I'm about to do. I've never done anything like this before. Piping and all of that. 
Watch this now. Pink food colouring. Here we go. This one's got to be very pink. Otherwise there's no point in doing it if it's not really, really, really pink. That kind of pink. Perfect. I, I even like that it's a little bit swirly. Okay, so uh, just leave that there for a second and we're going to look at these two pinks to see if they're different enough. Yeah, that one's okay. I might put a bit more pink in this one because the white is going... Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put that one there for a second. It says working quickly. I'm not working terribly quickly, am I? We'll put a bit more pink in this one, just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. And then a bit even more pink in this one. What do you think? Let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? That's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now what I have to do, oh, what I have to do now is put this pink and this white into two piping bags with these one of these nozzles on. I don't know which nozzle. I've never done anything like this before. So I'll use that big open nozzle there. And how about that nozzle there. Yep. Okay. And I need to put that tip right down there. So that's the open one. And then the other tip right down here. This is loads of fun, isn't it? So they're ready now. So I need to fill those up with these two, and then, have I got enough room on here? I hope so. The one that the meringue girls made is long and thin, like a uh, an oblong sort of cake, but I'm going to make a round one, and I've drawn round uh, 10 inches on the other side of the parchment paper and stuck it down with a little bit of meringue so it won't move. And now I'm going to pile all the pale pink meringue on here and then start piping the coloured meringue, the white and the pink. That's the plan anyway. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a, a big round meringue cake and I like that this is a little bit streaky yeah that's quite cool there's some paler pink and darker pink on here so I'm going to put all of this on here Now I've made meringue before a fair few times for a sort of meringue pudding, pavlova, but I've never made anything quite so ambitious 
with all this piping malarkey going on. And I'm aware that one of the recipe uh, <laughs> instructions is working quickly. So I better get a move on. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's a nice colour. There now. Now, once this is cooked and cooled down, the decorations are pretty spectacular too. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So I can get rid of that one now. And next I need to, I'll do the pink one first. So I'll just put you up there for a second. And we'll just um, need another spatula, don't I? Oh, I can use that spatula. What's the matter with that spatula? I use this spatula. There we go. So I'll put the pink in here. Now I think there's probably a clever way of doing this, isn't there? I've seen the Great British Bake Off. I know about piping. Well, I don't actually. So I'm going to... Oh, i tell you what I do watch a lot though. And that's royalty soap. And royalty soaps is always piping soap onto the top of her high top soaps. So Katie, if you're watching, I'm channeling you now. If you don't watch royalty soaps, you should, because she's amazing. She makes the most fantastic soaps. Don't all shout at the camera. I know there's probably a better way of doing this, but uh, it's going to be fine. It's just like soap frosting, Kate. Well, it's nothing like soap frosting. I had an idea that with the egg yolks I might make ice cream. Right, rapidly going off that idea now. Okay, so that's that one. And we're going to squeeze that down. Bring this back and then we're going to snip the end off this and start start icing some... I don't know what, because I've never done this before. Ah! Start icing some swirls. Oh, they're not coming out in swirls. They're kind of coming out. She says, in the meringue girls, they say, just get artistic and dot them about here and there. So it's not like I'm trying to do a pattern. Well, there was no point in having a fancy tip on this, was there? No point at all. So that's that one. And I'll do the white one now. Okay. <laughs> Right. Maybe, is it stiff enough? Is that what the problem is? We'll fill this one up now. Let's cut the end off this one. Oh, and now I won't, I won't let that dribble out like that one did. Let's see what this one's like. Exactly the same. Just dollops. So the fact that there's a piping tip in there has made absolutely no difference. But we have got nice little peaks to my dollops. So I'm not unhappy, but just a bit disappointed that I've bought all those piping tips. I guess they'll come in for something else. This is loads of fun though. Oh, careful. Yeah, so piping tips are a waste of time. Let's put some more pink ones in. Um, Oh, this is loads of fun. Now, in the Meringue Girls recipe, they've got another darker colour in here. But I'm quite happy with the, the colours I've got. Let's do some more white ones. There we go. And then this goes in the oven at 100 degrees C for an hour. And then you turn it off and leave it in to cool to harden. Don't let's mess it up, Kate. Oh, 
Come on, stay neat. And a few more pink ones in here, just to use it all up. Well, I'm not unhappy with that. I think that looks quite cool. We'll look at the Moran girls picture in a minute and we'll see that they actually, they're, I think they have a stand mixer and they're able to make the meringue more peaky than I was. But I don't mind those blobs at all, not even a little bit. Okay, whoops a daisy. There, one more for Agnes. <laughs> Whoop. One more in there, and then maybe one more in there. And there then is a pink meringue, which is a perfect cake for my son, don't you think? I'll pop it in the oven now. one hour. Hello again. It's Thursday today and Thursday is the day that I look after Agnes and so she's been here all day. It's a really really hot day. We're having another real heat wave here in the UK and so her mum and dad have just been to collect her and take her for a little cool down by the river while I put this little picnic together for them and for John and for me and we're going to try eating outside even though it's really really warm we hope that by the time it's a further into evening it might be a bit easier to be outdoors now the cake then to be honest <laughs> it isn't how I imagined it would be in my head <laughs> no not at all the picture was just lovely but I'm going to put cream on it and fruit on it and candles on it and I think that whatever it looks like it's going to taste absolutely delicious. So before I decorate the cake let me show you what we've got for our little tea party. I've made some potato salad and some coleslaw and then some hummus with lots and lots of different vegetables. Uh, the cucumber is mine but the rest of them are not. We've got red pepper, celery, tomatoes, different sorts, carrots, cucumber and cauliflower, which are one of my favourite things to eat raw. And then some olives, and this is in my dish and spoon bowl, the one that I kept. And then here we've got broad bean hummus. And some people don't know what broad beans are. Fava beans, I think you might know them as. And then I'm going to open these cheeses in a minute. We've got four different cheeses and then this focaccia that I made, which is a, um, this is a bread that you rise for a day and a half, two days even. So all of that lot's there and I'm covering it over with a cloth so that flies can't get at it. And I'm also leaving it all inside because I think people are going to start arriving in about five minutes. So I'm, now I'm going to do the cake. We give this to John. What have you got there, Agnes? Is that a pound coin? No, it's a bottle, it's a bottle top. Can I have your pound coin? Sit down. No, it's not a pound coin. What is it? It's a bottle. <gasps> Uncle John. Hello. We've got a cake for you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that cake, Agnes. Now then. Do we light the candles? Yeah, we're definitely going to light the candles. Look at that, Agnes. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mother. Happy You're very birthday. welcome. Thank you, friends. Now then, are we going to manage to light this? Oh, thank you. Oh, teamwork makes oh, the dream thank work. You, family. Are we going to sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear John. Happy birthday to you. Good singing, wow. Agnes. Oh, and they've all gone out. There's one no. left to blow out. I think you're gonna. Oh no, we might these miso coated shiitake. <laughs> should I? Should I blow them out? 
Happy birthday, John. Yay. 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 What a colourful thing. <laughs> Is it beautiful? So, John, you weren't very well on your birthday. No, I was ill. So, we've delayed your cake till now. Oh, and here it is. Well, thanks, Mother. Well, I, it's... Um, I want a bit. You want a bit? Okay. Which bit do you want, Agnes? But also, I've made ice cream. Oh, you want the pink bit? She's got you it. You can eat anything you want. you made you ice want. cream? Yeah. What flavour? Vanilla. What uh, recipe is this? Well, this is a recipe from the Meringue Girls. Okay. And that is just a recipe to use up the egg yolks. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Ice cream, Agnes. Ice cream. Ice, Agnes's bowl. Do you want some ice cream, Agnes? Agnes's Agnes? spoons. There's a piece for Agnes. Yes. And the plural spoon. One, two. Do you want yeah, to eat it with spoons. your hands? Maybe you could have some strawberries with it. Oh. Looks amazing. Good. Well done, Mother. Well, happy birthday. Sister. Isn't she good? Mm. Huh? Isn't she good? <laughs> Agnes, can you do me a really, can you do me a really, really helpful thing, Agnes? Agnes, can you be helpful? What? Grandma wants a helpfulness. Okay. Just a moment. We'll just go on my knees. What do you need? I need you to look over here with me. Agnes, and I need you to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yes. That's it. That's the put one. That, <laughs> that, put that, that finger one. down. Put that finger down. That thumb up. Yeah. Thumbs, yeah. thumbs up. <laughs> Do you see me, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Agnes. Wait.